Sapi Wudu Daha Now we say Buddha the last of the Kongzin Today's talk will be about whether uh, theoretical knowledge can be a hindrance in the cause of meditative practice. ชิมอกลนาเนาะตะลินตะปะเนาะจ่าพี่เนาะเตียริยะเดเสเกสกาลีเสร็จทาบะเดเอริสกาเสร็จดิกันอยู่ตะเกวะมาทีนี้มิว
One day, when the Lord Buddha was staying in Jetavana, somewhere near Savati, <clears throat> it came to his knowledge that there was an elder by the name of Patila who was so engrossed in teaching the Dharma to so many hundreds of students that he hardly had any time for himself, any time to himself, to practice meditation so that he could be liberated from suffering, knowing the plight of this venerable elder. <clears throat> the Lord Buddha was filled with much matter and compassion. He realized that Potila had the potential to be enlightened, and the Buddha was um, quite determined to see to it that this elder could be uh, stimulated and uh, shaken so that he can realize his situation, so that he could um, get a sense of spiritual urgency to strive for the Dharma. ตัวสาบิเบมาแล้วพุทธกรรมมาเลทเถมาตาลีลาเกตามะหุบปาวสาระปุกุจีหุบปาวอุปัสสีเมสอบยาเลทเถตอกาลากะสาบิโตพุท
taking chunks and pieces from from this author and that author and uh, compiling and writing uh, books. Well, perhaps one can compare the sort of um, so-called scholarly pursuits that are being carried out this day to the reaping of corn or wheat in the fields which have uh, which are actually leftovers from the main harvest. Mm. ຈັ່ງແກ່ແກ່ກ້າວຫນ້າລີດີເຊວຫນ້າລີດີບໍ່ລີມາຈັ່ງແກ່ແກ່ຫາລີກູນອກກະນີ້ໄລກ້າວ
ตาอจองก็ชาไม่หูหูงามมาสันเตียอุปัตตนาเตียเมตียผู้เตียตะเกอนิตตาได้ดิไม่ใช่หรอกดีหลุทุกข์สัพพุทธิลาหลงะโก
ဆမနတမကောရကိလိတာညီညုံတရားရီအထုတ်ဖို့ရဆုံးဖြတ်ချက်ချတယ်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်တိုက်
ก็มาเตเปนี่ไปแล้วสิดาเวกันยิเสจเกสัจจิกันผั่วไปแล้วตะเนโกสาปิสัจจิจิงปุชานี่เดปามุขขะจีเวสระวะดิอุปัตติม
Tilo kuta re ni lewe hoiya kuta ma khaya uro sa isho bhi ba sura hoiya lo ta ne ni yara shio la re. Ta vi ne ma yo u se ka ma yo lo ma ajo li ya tuwa di ten ni lo eri ga yi ya hoi yi kulu me ya ho. Khe di lo. Ata ji mi shu ba sura chen lewe hoiya shu lo shu ba re. Cha lo ne ne mo la lo ma shu du wa be ten shu khai ni la. Na ta e li yo ka jo chen le shi ya lo tu biyo re ta in lo ma ba sa vi lo. Sikli ta li shio lai ta. Ata le ve tu shun ja re ta in wo li. Pimi shu, pimi shu, pama shu, pama shu, pimi shu, pimi shu, pimi shu. Tu shun ja re ta in lo ka. Ay lo ma tu lo lo ya ra ba le. Sik shio lai ta le ve. Yo li ya yo ta lo. Tu ku ta la lu e ta ve lu so so lo. Tu kum ya dro pi ma sha re ma. E ta ni tuwa bi lo kai ni ne. Puri la ma te yi le ve sa ma li ya te ni lo. Te ya ni la ma pe lu ma lo e bu. Then we will realize how you did that. 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 To make the point even more clearer, Masada would like to relate a personal experience he had. <clears throat> About a week ago, uh, Masato had some difficulties with the body, I think it was some aches and pains. And so one of the uh, members of the staff was so kind enough to volunteer his services to massage Masato. So he came uh, one night and uh, asked Masato to lie down on, on, uh, on the bed, to lie on the side and on, on, on the back and so forth. Sada was instructed to um, breathe very heavily and intensely and also to relax the mind so that the body could be <laughs> easily worked on. <laughs> well, um, Sada felt, well, since he's, uh, he's, um, he's going to kill me, I better do what he says. <laughs> And uh, he, he, of course, he tried his best. He tried to breathe uh, very heavily <laughs> and uh, intens- intensely. And uh, he tried also to relax his mind so that the body could be relaxed. <laughs> but uh, being a monk and being used to restraint of the senses, <laughs> it was uh, not quite successful. <laughs> so... Uh, our poor volunteer had quite a tough time trying to work on the sada because the muscles were very tight and tense and he could uh, hardly make his way through. <laughs> well, uh, again and again, he requested the sada to breathe heavily and to relax and to, su- to surrender. <laughs> So Sarah was thinking, well, if if I if I want to, if I want to get well, I better listen to what he says. <laughs> so all right, so uh, Sarah really really relaxed his mind, and well, uh, to everyone's relief, <laughs> everything worked out fine. Um, the volunteer could uh, did his job well, did a good, gave a really very effective massage, and Sarah felt very well. Well, the point that he's trying to make is that uh, conceit is really a very tough and tense mental state. And it's very difficult to work with, and unless one totally surrenders, unless there's this uh, softness of mind, that receptivity of mind, it will be um, very difficult and almost impossible to receive anything. So no matter how hard a person may try to help you uh, in meditation, if one's conceit is still in the way, um, uh, then not much success can be uh, obtained. Hello, Kulin. Kulin, you are not aware of it. 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 Kalau jinjau dia kong, mana jinjau dia mana? Kalau jinjau dia, 
Well, exhausted and stripped of his pride, the Venerable Potula very respectfully approached the seven-year-old novice and saluted him, full of respect and uh, surrender. ကိုယ်လေးကဟာရှာတော့ဘုရားရှာတော့ကအတိကြီးတာပဲရှာတော့ကအခုကမ္မထန်လာပြီးတော့တောက်နေဆိုတော့တော်ပါမလားပေါ
uh, his robes, which was supposed, which uh, it seems <coughs> were very expensive robes, for he had been a very distinguished scholar, uh, began to get wet. Upon seeing that, the novice uh, said, Venerable Master, that is enough. Please come back. And very obediently and meekly, the elder uh, walked out the shore and came to the presence of the novice again. And uh, having passed his test, having passed his test, uh, the venerable elder was given a subject of meditation by this uh, little novice. This example illustrates two very important points. One is that the venerable uh, Bhutila, who was filled with so much conceit, coming from uh, learned, from the scholastic learning, and uh, was able to free himself from that pride and conceit to approach the, uh, to be able to uh, lower himself so humbly to ask the novice to be his meditation teacher. It is also very clear that his eagerness, enthusiasm and sincerity in wanting to practice the Dharma uh, is demonstrated. <laughs> ตนิยามาตบุอปอกชอกกุชีเดตบุรุกุชีบาเดไอ้ตบุเดมาอปอกตบุกะนี้ <laughs> ไถ่ชุบพี่แล้วมโนดวาระขอได้ตบอกกะนี้พี่แล้วพอดีเทมบอลาตะเมียอายุนี่กูมะโลตะมัดบาดอ๋อเลยไอ้นี่สิกูม
we have these six sense doors within our body-mind complex. And one is required to be restrained at the five sense doors and be vigilant and watchful at the mind door, watching whatever that arises with intent mindfulness. Sulurara Secondary Sachi de Indri Navago, two sons, Zibu, Jorava. Messi called a secondary Rupayungo, a secondary in a Rupayungo, Mima Yabjago body. Me and Dora came you far. Any mere Mima Yabjay, Pungdanango, Slamala, cheated, cheated a lay hard and very much even. มันซ่องซีได้ปกติมาဖြစ်ပါတယ်အဲ့ဒီလိုဖြစ်လေ Imuyali <laughs> Sahara has just elaborated on the instructions which were so precise and which is so concise and succinct given by the little novice. For a start, let us take the eye. For a normal person, when one's eyes they fall on an object, say it's a man or a woman, immediately one would be led to look to see whether that man or woman looks uh, attractive or not, or beautiful or handsome. And uh, immediately if one gets caught in that thought of pattern, then immediately uh, it gives the opportunity for the kilesis to assault oneself. And that is the first phase. And beyond that, if the, the eye still lingers on the object and looks deeper and into more detail, staring, uh, looking very closely at the face, uh, looking at the uh, eyebrows, uh, the cheek, or the nose, and so forth, then again, the, it makes the situation even more uh, tempting for the kilesis to um, arise. So... What the little novice was essentially trying to say is that because there's this danger of um, being getting carried away through the five sense doors, through the eyes, through the ears, through the nose, through the tongue, through the body, then one should exercise uh, the greatest restraint over the senses so that one is not caught one does not get caught by this whole stream, this whole uh, battalion of kilesis waiting uh, to pounce upon us. And once these five doors are quite well guarded, are closed, closed in the sense of ex- ex- exercising uh, very great restraint over them, over seeing, hearing, smelling, Tasting, touching, uh, then one can one can spend more time at the mind door. One can divert the bulk of one's energy towards the mind door, so that mindfulness can be activated uh, with accuracy and precision, watching whatever that arises. <laughs> Secondary 
เอ้อเลยขามยุหมะเนี่ยสอบเสียก็อวีก็ญีนอมุวีก็ชิมปุถิละไม่ทีญีโกอาปิเดยอกาวีสาริปุริอายกาปุริตังเขยอีตันตุ
from the account related by the Sada of this venerable Patila, it can be seen very clearly that it is not uh, the knowledge, it is not being learned that is a cause for obstruction during one's practice. One can see that the Venerable Putilla was a very distinguished scholar, very learned, very intelligent. But what was actually causing a hindrance to his uh, state of mind, to his preparedness to undertake the meditation, was pride, conceit. So this points should be very clear to all of you. And Sada hopes that you will be able to take this account to heart and uh, um, try to loosen any pride or conceit that you may be harboring so that you may be able to uh, realize the Dharma to some extent, although it may be nothing like the Venerable Putila.